Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, firstly, please excuse the state of my nails. I was just removing the old ones so I could get started on this kit today and then remembered that I was supposed to shoot the unboxing. <laughs> so anyway, um, for the entirety of the time that I've been doing my own nails, um, especially with the dip powder nails, I have been just buying whatever um, I see on uh, Amazon that I guess is the most affordable kind of, you know, taking, my, you know, trying my luck on that. But I have seen quite a lot of videos with people using double dip powders. I've went I've gone to the website many many times and I've gone back and forth over the cost of the uh, materials from double dip uh, finally I made it my Mother's Day gift to myself and decided to go ahead and get the uh, the six uh, count double dip starter kit now here's the thing I got this again like I said as a Mother's Day gift to myself so this was around uh, Mother's Day weekend and the cost of this kit was $80 at the time. I have, however, received several emails since then. It is now uh, May 28th. Oh, sorry. It is now May 28th. So I have now since received several emails from them saying that their prices have gone up a bit. I'm not sure what the kit is now, if it'll still stay the same or if the cost will go up a bit. But keep in mind, that was just when I got my kit. Um, so anywho, I just wanted to quickly unbox with you and then show you everything that comes in the kit before I get started on uh, doing my nails today. So let me get them out of this box here. I already have it open just so you don't see my you know, mailing address and all that. But I'm going to take everything out of here and then quickly go over it with you. Okay, so first I'm just going to start with this piece here. So um, this is the container that it comes in. Okay, so I'm not sure why they start the numbering at two, but this is your dip base. And then here is your activator. And then here is the top coat. And then you have a brush cleaner, aka brush saver. <laughs> And here you've got a cuticle oil then these are the six dip powders that I chose so when you um, opt to get the kit there's either four six or eight dip powders kits that you can choose from uh, the prices vary depending on which one you choose and then you get to choose the colors that you want in particular from the list of colors that they give you so you can't you can't just go through the entire site, but you can pick from a decent list that they have there. So this one here is called Soft White. This one is called Black Like My Heart. This one is called uh, Melting Olaf. This one is called Lucky Lime. This one is just called Yellow with no W. And this one is called Milkshake. So here you have the double dip fast drying system. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the tray that you use to yeah okay pop that off so you fill the powders in here and then you would use your finger to slide in here if I'm not mistaken this is more for um uh, if you want well um, you can use it any way you want but I think these come in more handy when you're trying to just do like a French tip or something like that so that might come in a little handy so that might come in handier for something like that. Let me get this out of the way and then see what's in the little bag. All right, so here is the bag that comes with it. Uh, well, beat up there, but it's fine. All right, so. Uh, all right, so you've got some soak off clips here, and then. I guess the usual 100 180 grit file although this feels super coarse on both sides so this may be the more coarse file they... nope they all feel super coarse okay <laughs> and then you get a cuticle pusher okay and then you just get a brush here to you know dust off the powders after you dipped dust off any excess Okay, I'm really losing some hairs, but okay. Uh, and then I guess that. Okay, uh, buffing block, I guess. That also feels pretty coarse, too, so I don't know. Uh, coupon, 
and then your instructions kit so right now i'm gonna go prep my nails and uh, i have some new tips that i want to use today and a new shape so i ordered these off of amazon so these are uh stiletto tips full cover tips so i want to try those um uh, so yeah i'm gonna go prep my nails and everything get those on and we'll be back once i'm ready to start dipping
Okay, so here are the two colors all done. Uh, for the record, on the accent nails, I ended up switching to Melting Olaf and uh, figured I'll just use Milkshake at another time. I don't particularly care for the colors as is, so here I am showing you this Beatles Blooming Gel that I also ordered and I've been dying to try. So yeah, luckily I'm going to be able to use that today and see if I can do a nail design that'll kind of make me happier with these nails. So let me get to it. Okay, so here we are. The nails are all done. Um, I was not too happy with the color by itself. I'm glad I decided to uh, try out this design for the first time. It ended up kind of saving it for me. Okay, uh, overall, I'm a little bit disappointed with this because of the lack of quality control. So I can't even reclose the glue here because that's essentially what the base is. It's just brush on glue. But I can't even close it here because the cap just gets stuck with all the gunked up glue on it. I don't know if this was used or partially used and then someone just decided to return it and that's what I ended up getting. Um, there was a brush inside the uh, brush cleaner but then uh, as you saw in video when I tried to dip it back into the base it just completely stiffened up and I couldn't use it so thankfully uh, I actually got saved by an old kiss brush that I had which I have it in here now hopefully trying to clean that up um the activators activator that worked fine the cuticle oil not bad it has a very light pleasant scent to it um so that's not bad at all i didn't use the top because i was going to be doing the design with the blooming gel um i just needed a regular uh, top coat so i could easily wipe off any mistakes or anything um at the last minute i ended up deciding to switch to melting olaf because i thought that would work better with these colors rather versus milkshake um and i'm glad i did i think olaf is like my favorite one so far there's just something like it's like a snowy kind of translucent white with little gold flecks in it and then chunkier holographic glitters in there so i like it a lot uh the brush overall very flimsy uh not my favorite i prefer going in with these kind of stiffer brushes afterwards to really get off any finer particles that are stuck on there just to make sure i have the best surface to work with didn't really use the dip tray i prefer the pour over method because i wanted this to turn out with something that i would like 
I decided not to use the dip tray itself but did end up using the cap of the tray as a way to dump my polishes um, did not end up using this hopefully you can see that it's uh, it's trying to pick up everything else but the tip but it's very like grainy and pitted almost like it's very hard to explain and I wish it would zoom in on it so you could see but yeah it's just it's not smooth at all and I was actually more afraid of cutting myself with it um, I use this thinner file for most of my hand filing and I used this one just for um, parts that seemed a little bit tougher for this one to handle but the files are fine I have no issues with them buffing block was fine there was a rougher side to it but once I actually started buffing and wore it down it got a lot smoother buffing block was fine um if this were a cheaper kit I don't think I would have any disappointment at all because it's like okay fine the dip base got like a little ganky there or whatever so I would probably just let it go but for the price point it was $80 for the kit and I don't think that that's okay. I don't think a lack of quality control to that level is okay. Like this is not some $10, 12 $15 kit. This is an $80 kit. There should be better quality control on this. So that part really irritated me. And if I were someone who didn't have a different method of doing this and had to solely rely on what came in the kit, that would have ruined it for me. I would not have been able to do my nails at all. So I'm not okay with that. Um, the powders themselves are gorgeous. I wish the green and the yellow were more vibrant. They seemed more vibrant in the photos online. But again, being able to do the design with them uh, ended up working out anyway. So I'm okay with that. I'm excited to try soft white, black like my heart, and milkshake. Um, but for now, these are the three colors that were just kind of standing out to me. And these were the two that once I ordered them, I couldn't wait for them to get here and try. So overall, I do like the dip powders at least. Um, and yeah, just like I said, disappointed with the quality control. Um, otherwise, would I recommend them? Um, I'd say yes just keep in mind that that's a potential for something that could happen and you'll either have to be ready with a backup or willing to send the items back to have them replaced um and hopefully that is something they'll do since i opted not to go that route i'm not sure how the customer service on something like that would be but um yeah overall the rest of the product worked out fine so i'm not disappointed with that uh, i feel like this and this and this are kind of just extra little gimmicky things to have something to fill the kit so not really necessary no real value there this is like you know a dollar store thing this I couldn't even use because there was no quality control on that either that's very rough and and uh ragged there so up to you again if you have backups for those things then not an issue if you don't then it might be an issue so <sighs> quality versus what you're getting <sighs> but i i i <laughs> so rough i would say definitely as far as ordering the powders um i would probably do that again if they have colors that i don't feel like i can find anywhere else but as far as the rest of the liquids and everything else i feel like you can probably just get away with getting your own trusted liquids um elsewhere and do without spending the 80 on the whole kit yes that's what i will say if, if you just like the powders the powders are, are great they're fantastic um if you can do without the entire kit and you can get the other items you're on your own or already have them then skip on that and just go for the powders is what i would say all right so hopefully that answered all your questions if you have any questions that i did not get to please feel free to leave them down below i've been more than happy to answer them for you if you haven't already please comment rate subscribe and hit that notification bell you'll have an amazing rest of the weekend wherever you are i'll see you in my next video bye